Hello my friends, this is the S&P 500 one day reading for June 24th, 2022. It's currently June 1st, 2022, 10.29 p.m. Um, I gotta say guys, this is probably one of the most difficult readings I've done. Um, really complicated. Uh, especially, especially when we look at the one month overview with it, because we've got an, we've got a, a month's crest, like a prominent crest here. But what looks to be like a, I mean, it's a, there's a lot of bearish, bearish cards in the one day. This is a bearish card, uh, as well, the, the Prince of uh, Cups. But when we look at the the one day, we've got a bullish card. Although all of these things are looking bearish to me, it's really, really throwing me off here, guys. Um, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go with what I see clearly. Apologize if it's not all the pieces, but this is a tough one, my friends. Um, so the overall theme and behavior, we have three crisscrosses through the same price level, um, and it's crossed with a notable decline that increases in, in momentum as we move forward as well as a prominent crest. So what I think likely happens is here early in the morning, we have a crest. Mm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna make any conjectures. Um, the trade, the, uh, there's a trade opportunity near the high. Um, and uh, from the high, there's a decline that uh, has some consecutive, consecutively lower spikes on the way down. Those spikes reach resistance at um, moving averages. And the behavior out of the low, we're going to have um, a move higher along diagonal trend line, breaking through horizontal resistance and meeting a second resistance before pulling back to somewhere between those two price levels. There's also a trade opportunity around a breakout um, at, at the high there. Um, so a resistance level in, is highlighted in the uh, pre-market and then at the open and from the open and into like the first half hour we have a notable move to the upside fast big move um, Okay, well, we have our first cross through there, through a price level, it looks like, um, around... Around, like, uh, 10 to 11-ish, but there's also a little, cr uh, there's a little a trough in here as well. It looks like we have a day's low um, at the open and we move in, or in the early morning and we move out of that higher um, cross through uh, a price level. There's a trade opportunity there um, where we break through resistance. Um, so the upper end of a range we break through, um, but only momentarily it looks like. Uh, and then there's volatility midday, a piece of news that comes out um, around when we're at the near high. Um, and it's around midday, so like we go from a low, higher breakout for a momentarily, come back down. Um, we're cross crisscrossing again midday um, through that price level. Um, there's a ca cash in opportunity as well there, uh, and a trough midday. Uh, opportunity to position oneself on both sides of the market as well midday, it looks like. Um, Wow. 
lot of movement going on at the end of the day. Looks like we have a, a both a sharp decline and a notable uh, rally. Price swinging going into the end of the day. And that third cross through the price level uh, around the close with selling from overbought territory in the post market. I started doing this thing. Sometimes I have a connection to the to the next days, like a, a like a retroactive connection. Sometimes that helps with price levels. I'm finding out, and so here we have the trade opportunity, satiety, and then we have it here, satiety. I always say that weird. I'd say we have like three crisscrosses through price level. Um, with a notable decline at the end of the day or, uh, and or overnight. Um, that's my sense. Uh, it's a really tricky day, guys, so be careful. Um, and that's uh, June 24th, 2022. Let me know what you think, guys. Let me know, um, you know how, how, how you do on this day. I'd love to hear about it. And uh, most importantly, when you make money from this reading, guys, pay it forward. I'll see you on the next one.